Hi guys, welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about an image enhancer that is a very nice alternative to the recently previewed image enhancer in Windows 11, which is in my opinion not where it should be at the moment because of course it is a first preview. But in this video, we're going to talk about AIRT Image Enhancer, which is basically a software that specializes in image enhancing. So I'm going to show you the software. It's pretty simple to use. And also you can check out the description below because they're also doing some giveaways where you can also get your own copy of AIRT Image Enhancer. So as you can see, this is the interface of the software. I also have here on the desktop a folder with some test images which we're going to try to upscale and we're going to see how the final result looks and what we can do to improve the results of course. First of all let's load up some images. So for example I'm going to load up this one, this one and also let's try another image for example uh, this one. So I'm going to open all three of them. We're going to notice that first of all it's going to start to generate more image details. It's going to download some of the plugins and additions that it needs to upscale the image. In the right side, you're going to notice that we can change the settings in order to get the best possible results. But you can also see is that all the images have a very small resolution. This one is 1024 by 825. The first one was 512 by 512 and the middle one was even smaller. So we're going to see how much we can upscale these images. As you can see, whenever you select an image, of course, the AI is going to do its job and show you a preview at first to see how the image will look whenever you are upscaling it. So let's start with the first image. As you can see, the results are pretty good so far. Of course, the results and also the processing time depends on your machine, what kind of components you have and so on. But let's see what we can do. We have the hardware and we can choose to use the CPU, the dedicated GPU or the integrated GPU. In my case, it is from Intel. And we also have the option to select the AI model. So let's test out and see how the different AI models look. On the hardware side, I'm just going to leave it on the GPU because of course, it is recommended to use the GPU in cases like this. So let's also try Smooth Diff V2. And now as you can see, is going to yet again load up the image and see how it looks with the different AI model. So with this AI model, it certainly looks a lot smoother. And also let's test out the last one, which is Real Photo V3. The program is yet again going to do its job. And let's see how the photo will look after it is, of course, processed. So as you can see, this is the result with the third AI model. I'm thinking that this is looking the best after testing all the models. As you can see, we have an upscale of two times. We can also do an 8K one, but I'm not really sure if it's needed. In this case, I think the X2 is best. And we also have two pass processing, which is basically another process that will run after the result. And it's going to try to give us more detail for the upscaled image. I think this result is actually pretty good. We also have the image prompt. We can select keep the prompt and also add text if we want. We also have at the bottom export settings and we can change the format of the image. For example, I'm just going to select JPEG and also the quality on 100 and we can select the the output path. I'm going to click on browse, select desktop, and then click on run. As you can see here, the whole image will be processed. First of all, it's going to get the AI model that it's going to use, and then it will process and export the final image, which we're going to see in just a moment. Okay, so one interesting thing is that it finally exported all our images. And as you can see, we have the different resolutions for all our images. And let's check them out. Of course, you can always go one by one and select your settings, which we're going to do in just a moment. As you can see, this is looking pretty good. This image upscaled also looking pretty good in this tiger yet again. You can also of course see the preview for the other images for example in this one and also the tiger which is a higher resolution image and with a lot of details and as you can see the AI is doing a very very good job. This is an image that has a lot of noise and also it's a bit blurry but the AI is done a really really good job by also enhancing the small little details on the tiger and I think that is pretty nice. As you can see the software is really intuitive not a lot of settings not a lot of options you can just upscale the image and move on with everything that you want to do. In my opinion, this is one of the best AI upscaling software that you can use. I think you should also give it a try if you have certain old images that you want to upscale or you have images that you took with your phone. Maybe they're blurry. Maybe they have a lot of noise. You can enhance the details and upscale the images really, really easy. So as you can see, the software is not only upscaling the image, but it's also enhancing the quality and the details. Because of course, normally if you were to change the resolution and raise the resolution of a photo without doing some AI processing to enhance the details, the photo would look even 
worse, but with a software like this, you can upscale the image and also process it to look even better after the upscale took place. So if you're interested to test out AIRT Image Enhancer, you can always check out the description below. And of course, make sure to give your opinion in the comments below about the software. So this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.